Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to my channel. This is Tanush and uh, today in this video we will be discussing about two ascendants namely Taurus and Gemini that is Rishab Lagna and Mithun Lagna. So I um, will be discussing how the time from mid of April is going to be uh, for almost like one year because um, you know the, this uh, this April 2022 is going to be a very uh, important month because as we discussed earlier you know three important planets are changing so I would say four so Jupiter would be moving from the sign of uh, Aquarius into its own, own uh, sign of Pisces and um, Saturn will be moving from the sign of Capricorn to the sign of Aquarius and uh, Aquarius is the Mool Trikon sign of Saturn and Saturn is quite comfortable and relaxed in the sign of Aquarius whereas in the sign of Capricorn Saturn behaves as a hard taskmaster right so uh, Saturn is very strict in the sign of Capricorn whereas Saturn is very relaxed in the sign of Aquarius much relaxed right so uh, Rahu and Ketu would also be changing the sign so Rahu would move into the sign of uh, Aries and Ketu into the sign of Libra right so this is surely going to impact everyone but I would like to speak about these two ascendants because it's going to impact them in a very positive way so if we speak about Taurus or Rishabh Lagna people um, right now the things are not so bad for them um, Saturn is in the ninth house so the Lord of ninth house is in the ninth house so ninth house is house of our fortune as they say uh, Bhagya or fortune and uh, ninth house is also the house of future planning so what has happened is Saturn sitting in the ninth house till now has prepared you for the upcoming time so when Saturn is going to transit in the sign of Aquarius you know so Saturn has already prepared you and now you are going to see the results uh, for all the hard work you have put in and Saturn has already given a direction to your career uh, and you know uh, once Saturn moves into the sign of Aquarius that is when you would start moving in that direction you can actually understand you know why Saturn has made you work so hard um, for the last two and a half years that is from January 2020 to be very precise right and uh, so this is one thing it's going to be very good because the Lord of 10th house is coming into the 10th house right so wonderful thing right so uh, assuming that your Saturn is good or okay you know it's going to give you excellent results so it's going to give you multiple opportunities in job you know very good opportunities so if you're looking for job change you can plan for that right and uh, because uh, Saturn in the sign of Aquarius represents large masses you know large ma masses large groups so you will be working with large masses you'll be communicating with you know multiple people working with influential people and uh, you know you'll you can achieve a lot during this period now Saturn would move to the sign of Aquarius it would be there till July and in July 2022 it's going to come back for almost like you know uh, this year and January 2023 is when it's going to move to the sign of Aquarius for good and stay there for almost two years right so April would be you know uh, a breakthrough month for you where you can see many good things happening so why is that because uh, again uh, Jupiter would be moving to your 11th house right into the sign of Pisces so the Lord of uh, 11th house is now in the 11th house right so this both two 10th and 11th houses are quite important for our career or business because 10th house obviously we know you know it's the house of career it's our karma bhumi you know uh, but the 11th house is the returns or the gains we get from our profession so the the lot of returns of gains from the profession is sitting in its own house and the lot of your 10th house is sitting in its own house right excellent um, you know uh, placement of planets I would say so Jupiter is going to give you very good returns from your profession so returns maybe you know monetary gains uh, hikes increments promotions and uh, because it is 11th house your network circle will be very good right so you'll be working with very good people because it's Jupiter very intelligent people and things would be very peaceful 
and you would love what you would be doing right now one thing is you know rahu would move to your 12th house and ketu would move to your 6th house so the uh, 6th well axis would now be activated so rahu is going to give you surely uh, you know it, it's going to give you some losses or uh, increase in the expenditure i would say uh, it's surely going to give you that and uh, if if we look uh, uh, you know this placement from a different angle rahu would give you travel to even foreign lands so even that is possible right so now the 10th 11th and the 12th house is now getting activated so um, if your rahu is well placed if your dasha is quite favorable then probably you might travel and this travel would be excellent for you so spending would be little high for sure uh, but you can do you know rahu remedies there are many good remedies which you can do and uh, your expenses would be curbed right so very good period plan for this and utilize the upcoming time uh, you know properly now coming to gemini ascendant or mithun lagna gemini ascendant people have suffered a lot during past two years so unless your uh, main dasha was very strong you surely have suffered so if your main dasha was you know very strong your planets uh, the lot of your main dasha was properly placed very strong then you know you might have crossed over this time uh, comfortably i would say but uh, in general the past two years were very stressful for gemini ascendant people and if we look at the transit of saturn which happened in january 2020 saturn has uh, moved to your 8th house so in 8th house saturn gives its you know its own set of issues uh, which you might have faced it makes a person very lethargic and lazy so a person will not be very active uh, in dealing with things uh, and few other things because saturn sitting in 8th house is also aspect in the 10th house so the third aspect of saturn is always very very challenging right so uh, you you have seen this from uh, january 2020 now in september 2020 uh, rahu and ketu have moved you know to a 12th and 6th house respectively so ketu sitting in your 6th house was is still is still aspecting your 10th house right so uh, your 10th house lot was debilitated until november 2021 so you know the previous two transits were not so good even though uh, your your uh, you know lot of your 10th house that is jupiter was in sagittarius its own sign uh, it was in conjunction with ketu saturn was there many things happened then you know uh, jupiter moved to the sign of capricorn it got debilitated there right but now looking at the positive side um, right now jupiter is in the sign of aquarius in your 9th house where it is not so bad direction strength is excellent uh, but when jupiter moves to your 10th house so the lord of 10th house is moving into you know the 10th house and because it is jupiter is going to, it's surely going to give you excellent uh, opportunities right so utilize this opportunities because uh, you know transit of jupiter happens Uh, once in 13 years so uh, after after a decade jupiter is again going uh, is going to come into your 10th house so utilize this time you know you can plan for things many good things would be happening because sitting in the 10th house jupiter would be aspecting your second house of wealth so during this period your monetary gains would be very good it's also aspecting the 4th house so overall this transit of jupiter is going to be very good for the coming uh, one year and after that it would move to your 11th house which is also very good but you know 10th house is the own sign of jupiter pisces so jupiter coming there is a it has its own special significance right now saturn is right now in your 8th house and uh, during the end of april saturn would move to your 9th house so the lot of your bhagya or fortune is now coming into the 9th house right it's it's an excellent placement right so again you know till july it's going to be there again it's going to come back and you know january 2023 again it's going uh, going to get into your ninth house or the sign of uh, aquarius which is the own uh, mool trikon rashi of saturn so it's going to be very good now to add to it rahu and ketu are also changing signs now rahu would move into your 11th house so if we look you know uh, at rahu's placement so uh, rahu in 11th house gives 
excellent uh, monetary gain. So Rahu is considered to be best place in 11th house where it gives good results, right? Mm -hmm. So now your 9th house, your 10th house and your 11th house are going to get activated. It's going to be an excellent time. So utilize this time thoroughly, plan for things because whatever has happened till now, you know, was a completely different thing. But this is an opportunity which you are going, you, you would be getting after almost like, you know, two to three years. So plan for it, utilize it. If your Dasha is very good, then it, you are going to surely going to get, you know, excellent opportunities. Uh, it would be an excellent progressive period for you. If your Dasha is moderate, still, you know, this placement of planets is going to be excellent for you. And if your Dasha is bad, but still, you know, when Jupiter comes to its own house, Saturn come to its, uh, comes to its own house, you know, it's going to be a different uh, game for you altogether. Uh, things would be much better as compared to earlier. So if you are running a decent Dasha, then this transit of planets are going to give you very good opportunities, very good monetary gains, travel to foreign lands, right? So guys, plan for it, utilize this time, uh, the upcoming time. So Saturn, like I said, you know, would be uh, there in Aquarius from uh, April end to July and then from January 2023 to next two years. So long time, right? So you can utilize that and uh, Jupiter in Pisces is going to give you both of you Taurus as well as Pisces wonderful opportunities, wonderful returns, uh, you know, uh, in your job, especially or career or business, right? So plan for things. Uh, the coming time seems to be very exciting. Uh, for especially for Taurus and Gemini Ascendant. Thank you so much. I'll be back with another video. If you like my video, you can please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.